Okay, so we had a quick question about what's the difference in Kaddish Yesh or Kaddish Ar Yisrael. Answer. Kaddish finishes in the the Amiran Be'alma Vimru Amin. Tam Kaddish finished. The extra text, Yesh Alama Rabba Amin Shemaya Chayim Vesaba, Al Yisrael Al Rabbanan Tagdali. These are wishes. They are not part of the original Kaddish. Now those wishes have to be accommodated to whatever we have done. For example, if a person learns Torah, you have to say Al Israel. Why? What do what text Al Israel means? Al Israel, the Al Rabbanan, the Al Talmidehun, led on the Jewish nation and all the rabbis and all the students of the rabbis. Hina would be for for us and for them and for the students. Hina will have grace. And have mercies from above. Some say Whatever. Right? the master of the heavens and earth. That's what Al Israel means. So after you learn Torah, you have to say Al Israel. After you did not learn Torah, you just read Psukim. Pesukim, Karnat Shtayim. Tehilim. Pesukim. What do you say there? Yehesh Elama. Now during that first week of the 12 months, you only stop, you only stop, Yehesh Elama. During the, the 12th month, we should say it's the, after 11th month finished, the 12th month started. The first week, you stop, Saying Yeheshelama Al Israel, you say all life long. All life, life long. Family days. Some people in Hall come for one year, can you so? After one year, Nanik Nadakadis Kazaj, we will do new videos. Disappear. Unfortunately. Oh, good question. Says the Ben Ishchai. The Gemara tells us that the Neshama of a person, if he's Rasha, is getting judged 12 months. Kaddish saves the Neshama from Gehenom and elevates it even higher than Gehenom. So if a person says, Kaddish, 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 he says, why, why, you know, my father was such a bad person. He needs Kaddish nonstop. Wow. So for people not to say, look at this guy, look, you see? I told you his father was Levi. Look at this guy. If he would be such a tzaddik, why his son says so much, Kaddish, 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 Kaddish. Must be that he was not such a tzaddik. He had problems inside the family. Who knew that? His children. Simha, here, look. This guy says non-stop Kaddish. For people not to say bad things about the Neshama, what we say to the son, Yoni Khalfesh, one week, don't say Kaddish Yeshara. Kaddish Al Israel show? Does Al Israel always say? All because all the time people say Al Israel, even after a year, after two years, after ten years. After ten years. Zakon just selects it. Do you need to say Kaddish Al Israel or no? Yes. So the fact that you said Kaddish Al Israel during that one week, it doesn't it doesn't mean that you say it because your father was not a good person. Because everybody says Narayan on Kaddish Al Israel, we learn Torah. That's why after learning Torah, you always say Al Israel. That's what's supposed to be. People misunderstood Minhag. Minhag is only to stop Yehe Shelama, not Al Israel. Because Al Israel, everybody say. Ben Ishai clearly writes it. Zohar Israel. Why? Because Zohar, even if you don't understand, it counts like you learned. 
Why? Because whenever you understand the Zohar, you think you understand. There is much more deeper parts of the Zohar you didn't understand. So that's a the Zohar always is a Kaddish Al Israel. Famidim. Amen. Когда человек нечаянно прохалишну сказал, чтобы исправить свою ошибку, меньше ее сделать, он говорит, благословен Бог, чтобы его имя всегда благословлен. Барух, чем гималхутор, он дает. Окей. Don't forget to say Bracha Haruna. I'm going to say Allah it's I eat grapes. Arukhata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Allah it's Val Peri Allah it's Val Tenvat Sadeh Val Eretz Hanimat Tovah Mchava Asher Asher Min Chalta La Vutenu Lechom Mitriach Velizbo Ami Tuvah Rahim Adonai Eloheinu Alin Val Israel Amach Val Yerushalayim Irach Val Atzim Nishkan Kivodach Val Mizbah Kol Echalach Vnei Yerushalayim Irach Kodesh Mi Merabi Amen Ovi Ha Alenu Letocha Samachin Ovi Vini Adach Vnevarcha Chalia Bin Mushal Tahora. כי אתה טוב ומטיב לכל ונודה לך על הארץ ועל הפירות, ברוך אתה אדוני על הארץ ועל הפירות. על הארץ ועל הפירות. על, על הארץ. Very good. Okay, we continue, רבותיי. רבותיי, you're being recorded, all your conversations are being recorded. So, let's take to our topic. We are on page 40. Okay, so we spoke in the morning about bicycles on Shabbat. And we said according to Ben Ishchai, it's 100% allowed. Rabbi Bad Yosef says that's what the Ben Ishchai holds. And whoever says that it's not allowed is wrong according to Ben Ishchai. Ben Ishchai always said it's allowed until the end of his life. Rabbi Bad Yosef himself says the custom is not to allow it. But it's a custom not to allow it. And the reason for the custom, he says, because uvadin dechol, because we are afraid that this looks like a weekday activity. Right. Weekday activity. People drive on bicycles sometimes to work. You know, Manhattan, people go to work on bicycles. So, Rabbi Vadi Yosef says, if you see people drive bic ride bicycles on Shabbat, people can say, maybe this guy goes to work. What happened to him? I know him, Shomer Shabbat. Suddenly I see him driving to work. He doesn't drive to work. He goes to Shulag, synagogue. He goes to learn Torah. But it doesn't look good. That's how Vadi Yosef approach to why is it uh, should be prohibited. But he finishes off. Another reason he says, because you know on Shabbat, you have a certain limit you're allowed to walk outside the city. Let's say right now, a person, you know, Hallis Hills, but after Hallis Hills, there's still houses, right? Till Long Island, even there's houses. Wow. Uh, there's no end. Okay. But let's say from here to Mansi. A person wants to walk on Shabbat, walk on Shabbat from here to Mansi. How long it takes him? I think 10, 15 hours. To walk from here? Yeah, I think. Yeah, check, check, Google. Yeah, Somebody. 15 hours, it might take you more. Like, like more? Like check. 100% more. Check, no, but said maybe more. Here to 108, I was walking the one from hour. To, yeah, from one here hour. to 108, it's like an hour. Hour and a half, yeah. No, to Monsi is more, Rabbi, because church is a distance. Yeah. Check, I check, how many days, how many hours, check. Okay, I'll check right now. From here to Monsi. No, no, give me an address in Monsi. Huh? Put Monsi, he's going to give you. When there is a tomb, Eruv, there is Eruv, Ben Ishchai says aloud. Rabbi Obadia Yosef says you should not do that. One hours and eight minutes. It's 200 miles, exactly. 20 hours, I wasn't so far. 39 miles. It's doable. 20 hours a person is walking, he's not going to die. Yeah. 20 But you cannot walk all day? 24 hours a day. No problem, what's the problem? You have to be in shape, huh, baby? Yeah. 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 20 hours? It's not 40 miles. Hi, whatever, Habibi, from here to Brooklyn is two and a half hours walk. Driving is hour. Two months is also an hour. From here to Brooklyn, the walk, two and a half hours. The Chabad guys all the time. Two and a half hours. From Brooklyn, Brooklyn, they walk. Not that far. The, in riding, driving is an hour. Walking is two and a half hours. 
Do you have a Chabad guy says, in 772 here, it's two and a half hours. Two and a half, okay, then I would believe it's an hour. So two months, see, it's our drive also. But that's a drive, here is traffic. So let's say 15 guy. hours, 20 hours, whatever it is. Now on Shabbat, a person wants to do it. Can he do it or no? Well, says, Allah, not allowed to. Yeah. What is if he says, I'm going to go on bicycles? He also can. Huh? On Shabbat, no. If he sweats, Text me, I want to check. No. Maybe on bicycle it's allowed. On the outside of the room. Because I'm not in Fakhim. So Ben Ishkai says it's allowed. Because when, when it says walking, it doesn't say... Uh, so it says walking, no? What, about the room? Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm thinking. I want to check about the bicycles. It's like exercising. But how? I thought... Now, can a person like exercise on Shabbat? Not to exercise. Can a person exercise Shabbat? No. Allah no. says allowed. You can exercise, yeah. but yes. not for sweat reason. Even if you are sweat, sweat just don't intend don't for sweat. Intend. Right. Intent. Don't intend for sweat. Why is it potato? Don't, don't have kavana, intention for sweat. Your intention is not Why is sweat. Potato? Yeah, if, you're, if it happens that you sweat, there's no problem. The problem is you should not intend. It's like kachatsa, no problem. You can have kavana. Akilo, if you enjoy it. Sometimes a person does push-ups because the doctor tells him if you're not going to do that, you're going to get into troubles, health problems. Push-ups, sit-ups, all these things, jumping more up, all these things he does. Because he's afraid that he's going to go to a surgery, he's going to try, he's trying to avoid a back surgery, heart surgery. So he's not really yeah. enjoying it. Uh, he's doing it because well, he's forced to it. But if a person is enjoying it, he builds up his muscles, he feels good about himself, you know, he releases do dopamine to his, uh, that, he feels good. He feels energi energized after that. Huh? that. Then it's allowed. If he feels energized, he feels good about himself, even with uh, weights, pick up weights. On Shabbat, no problem. Alhamdulillah. Person wants to jog, jogging on Shabbat. Simcha, you doing jogging? Ah, you don't do? You do? Kol akavod. So Alakha says, if there is houses from your house, next door, next house, next house, next house. Next house all the way to the synagogue, you can walk 20 hours. 20,000 hours also, no problem. No limit. But if there is no houses, for example, from here to upstate. Highway. There'll be area, there is no houses. Highway. So then the limit is 1,000 meters, adin kilometer. From the last area that is inhabited. No more houses. From that area and on, up to one kilometer. 2.6 miles. Got it? Okay. So this, the two reasons Rabbi Bar Yosef goes for. He says why a person should not ride bicycles. Rabbi Bar Yosef says no, not. Because we're afraid that it looks like you go to work. And second thing, we're afraid that a person might go on bicycles past that one kilometer. Bicycles, it's uh, no easy to go far with that. So that's the fear that he came up with. Again, that's a fear he came up with. It's not Gemara, it's not Hazal, but that's what Avar Yosef's reasoning is. Mm -hmm. Number three. Is it permitted to ride a tricycle for children on Shabbat? No Tricycles. Night show it. Simcha. Lajitei. Three. Kaliosi. Three Kaliosi. Says Avar However, riding a tricycle for children is permitted. No problem. No problem. For children. No problem. Rabot et Shabbat mojna. Rabai rabot et Hazan rabot et Tochtai tsefar Torah rabot et Kto provad et rabot et 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 kag nazvayt et et jewelry and a jewelry et et restaurant restaurant rabot et as Yeshua Shabbat bracho she dila she dengi dilu she rabot et no the e catering there is no problem rabot et Shabbat. The problem is to create on Shabbat. Now there's 39 sections of prohibited creations. One of them is cutting hair or cutting something from the source of light. Of, of light. Another one is writing. So when you make business, you always write. So that's a Chazal said, don't make jewelry, don't sell, don't buy. But that's the logic behind it. That's why not all. But anything that you will earn money and you will not violate one of those 39, sec 39 sections, you have no problem. If a guy right now yeah. watching over his children, uh, neighbor's children, babysitter, he, she gets paid the babysitter. Oh, Shabbat and Nazar 
after Shabbat you give you the money. You say that this money is also come one of the hours during the week, let's say for example. Or for the phone call that you picked up on me, whatever it is, I pay you for that. And by the way, it's also for the, the rest of the uh, uh, babysitting service. She made money on Shabbat. Why? Because she did not break 39 sections of the laws. Nazavait melachot. Right? You didn't give the money on Shabbat. You gave the money after Shabbat for the phone call that you picked up plus for the service of Shabbat. Got it? Okay, number four. Sazdavait. Shabbat нельзя, создавать. Создавать Шаббат нельзя. Не писать, не стирать, не стричь, ни ногти, ни волосы и так далее. Окей, okay, number four. Любую вещь, которая она растет, you're not allowed to cut. Нельзя его. Но no, тоже нельзя. Только жену можно поливать. Подметать дома, не на землю. On paved, yes. Not unpaved, no. Okay, number four. Ваши, да. Дома, да. Number four. Is it permitted for the sake of a mitzvah? So, uh, is, is it, is riding a bicycle on Shabbat permitted for the sake of a mitzvah? Even for a mitzvah is it permitted? So, Rav Yosef says, for a mitzvah, the law is different. And even for the sake of a mitzvah, one should refrain. It doesn't say, like he said before, uvadin the dechol. It says, for sake of a mitzvah, refrain. So, so yeah, means, yes, means, 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 you should not do it. That say it's asur. That say uvadin the chol, like he said in number two. He says, refrain. He's asking refrain. about electric bike. I said, no, electrical bicycle, a hundred percent not allowed. That's according to all opinions. Electrical bicycle, not allowed. Mechanical bicycle. Some rabbis allow it. Ben Ishchai allows it. Other people also allow it. We just brought what Rabbi Yosef brought. Yes, that the ben Ishchai allowed. Solar, solar powered. Yeah, also not allowed oh, because it's energy um, battery based. <clears throat> the energy is, is come from the sun, but there's still energy that you have to turn on by never you're gonna pedal whenever yeah. you're gonna get it done. Okay, number forty-four, page forty-four. All right, page forty-four. Oh, look. This is your question. About Get it. Page 44 about sweeping. Read. Akilo. Uh, sweeping. Read. It says page 44. It's, no, don't go far. Don't go far. It's like three, two, three pages into the pamphlet. It says page 44 over there. Okay, read. All right, it's already time for you? No, that's the issue. 35, you walked in. So it looks like it's your time for you, no? Page 44. Is it permitted to sweep? Very good. Come, come. I will give you time right now. The Bechor is not here. You want to do it when Bechor is here? Yeah, let's do it when Bechor is here. I don't want him to miss. Okay. Right, okay. I thought he was going to come. Okay, let's continue. Shh. When? Just raise it up to uh, 75. Ah, uh, 50. Okay. Okay, read. Akilov, you found it? Is it permitted to sweep a floor that is not paved? Anna, unbelievable. Answer, is His question is the next line, you see? Right. Yeah. Unbelievable. Rocha Kodesh. Yeah, Rocha Kodesh. Read. It is forbidden. Answer. Yeah, yeah. It is forbidden to sweep a floor that is not paved, as one who levels holes on Shabbat is liable due to building. Got it? Yeah. Whenever the ground is like this, and you're coming with a sweep, with a broom, what do you do? Level. Evening it out, level, level, leveling, 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 leveling it. You know, whenever you put up a building, put up a structure. What's the first thing you have to do to the to the ground? Level. 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 So Allah says, when a person is going to sweep zemlu, ni asphalt, ni cement, a zimla, soil, when it's like this, and you're coming to sweep, your kids left a lot of garbage, grandkids left a lot of garbage there. So on Shabbat, you want to take a, a, a broom and sweep. Zemlu, nilzia sweep. Zemlu, nilzia. Torkodom. Right. 
tile, paved, even outside, paved, no problem. Unpaved, problem. 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 You say unpaved or not paved? Because I wrote here not paved. How should you say? Not paved. Huh? Mr. College, how do you say? Same thing. Not paid. Same way? Not paid. Not paid is fine? Okay, next, number two. If it's fine, let it go. Unpaid torso? It's the same thing, they just want us to... You want me to read it? Same yeah, 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 you're reading good. Do we decree against sweeping other this. houses that are not paved? Oh, some say... Some say it is forbidden because of other houses that are not paved, but nowadays even they would admit it is permitted. You see? The Ashkenazim say that you're not allowed to sweep even in your house when there you have tile, parquet, whatever. Sure. Not allowed to. Why? Why? It's an easy It's not soil. So some houses has no parquet, tile. They don't have that. They have it like it used to be back in the day. Soil, zemlu, back in the day. So, so, so if you're gonna still. clean, oh, if you're gonna clean in your house with a broom. They're gonna say, oh, I saw in this religious house, they used to sweep the floor. Abasya, this religious house had paved, had the cement, had tiles. This is, you watch the Kishloch over there, there is no cement, there is no tiles. In your house, you have soil, you're not allowed to. So for people not to make this mistake, 500 years ago, Rama wrote, it's not allowed to, even in your house. Hmm. However, says Ravadi Yosef, nowadays, there nobody leaves in a place there is no tiles. Every house has a tile. Yeah, yeah, Even in a, in, a, in a very third world countries, you have tiles in their houses. Parquet, something you have on the floor, yeah. right? Cement, chota. You're not gonna have soil like it used to be back in the day. <laughs> so it says nowadays, even the Ashkenazi rabbis will allow the people that have tiles in their house to sweep that, that house. And we're not gonna say, hey, don't make that because others are going to make a mistake. There is no others to make a mistake. Everybody has tiles today. Akilov got it. Therefore, bottom line, nowadays, Sephardi people and Ashkenazi people are allowed to sweep the floors in the paved areas. Tiled areas. Kalantar Famidim. Yes. <laughs> Abolish. You got it or no? If you didn't get it, I'll repeat, no problem. No. Got it. Tiled area, you allowed to sweep or no? No. Tiled area, tiled. Yeah, tiled, yeah, but yeah. Not unpaved. Unpaved, you allowed or no? No. Very good, that's it, that's about it. Number three. Because when it's paved, you're not evening out. When it's like, uh, paved, you don't like you. Habibi, this is Kalontaro. No, no, I'm just... Ah, that's Habibi. Plus, I read it. Very good, next. Kalontaro. <laughs> Because a decree is <laughs> in do, do, two, do two a decree against sweeping in other houses. I just say, uh, uh, let's, uh, lest, lest, right? If you allow it here, lest. How do you say in English, lest? Lest? So not lost, I said lest. For him not to learn it from there, yeah. right. he in his own home. Lest. <coughs> lest. It's an English word, Takoy. Least. No, no. Lest, lest he does, that's what word. There, there's a literature word, no, so I said lest. Lest. L-E-S-T? L-E-S-T, yeah. You might come to do something else. If you allow it here, you might come to do it there. At an English, no, so I said lest. Lest. L-E-S-T. The question is, right? Stop. In the other place, there was no problem. Huh? Do we? Do we restrict sweeping in a paved area due to a decree against sweeping in other houses that are not paved? So I want to use that word let's lest. Do we restrict? Do we restrict sweeping? It's not real. It's imitation. 
Я, я с женой не могу уже общаться, с ним спать. Все. Понятно. Гарлик. Симха, every night we have bechor with those type of things. Now you came to substitute for him. Did he send you? Я завтра не приду, когда за мистер Амис со мной пойди. Listen, if you want to be a bechor, you gotta have the beard of bechor. You can't have 50% like this. Do we restrict sweeping? Do we restrict sweeping in paved, тихо, тихо, все работа, in paved area? Lest, ну, говори, lest, lest the person does it in an unpaved floor. In their own house. Does it in other houses that are unpaid? Okay. Which one are we, Rabbi? We are right now going <laughs> to. Shlicha John. Bas. Bas. Bas Gufta. Bas Gufta. Number three. Shlicha Shlicha Gufta. Get serious. Number three. <laughs> Let's go. Is this considered a labor that is not needed for its own sake? Additionally, the Qurban Natan wrote that even in unpaved ground, it is only rabbinically forbidden because this is considered a labor that is not needed for its own sake. And also it is done in an unusual manner. And they did not decree a decree upon a decree. Got it? They didn't do no bow to see. You understand? A person that sweeps the floor, he has a lot of garbage. No, no, Tikha. Person takes that at the sweep, broom, if sweeps. What is his kavana? To make the ground even? No, to sweep the garbage. Or to clean the garbage? Clean. Now ask him, Johnny Khalfesh, do you need that ground to be even? No. Are you going to put a building over here? No. You're evening out the ground, you're going to put up a building? A building, I don't need it. So that's called Isur de Rabbanan. Melacha shelo tzrich ha legufa. So it says, you tell people, don't sweep in your areas. Sweep in your area, in your paved area. Why? Other people don't have paved area. They're going to sweep over there. So listen, if they will sweep over there, what Isur they're going to violate? The right of the Rabbanan. The Rabbanan. Because even if they will level out the ground, they don't need... The, even out ground, they're not putting a building over there. So you're telling me not to sweep in my tiled areas because another person somewhere in the world is going to learn from me and sweep in a not tiled area? Each own violation is going to. What's the violation? The Rabbanan. So you're making a fence to a fence? You have a rule. So you cannot make double fence. In Judaism, we have a structure of laws that if you make uh, the Rabbanan, Rabbanan is the rabbis. They put a certain fence. You cannot add another fence to this fence. So therefore, bottom line, says Rav Yosef, it's allowed to sweep in your house that you have tiles, you have paved areas, even if others somewhere in the world will not have it. It's not my business what they have or don't have. I want to clean in my house. Can I sweep my floors or no? Says Rav Adi Yosef, come on. Got it? Very good. Is this understood from number three, or I have to yeah, rewrite it? Uh, Igor, the wording is clear at number three. Don't rush to, to, to answer me. Rabbi, yeah. 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 Не тоненько, чтобы его человек не выжимал. Баунти можно? Потому что выжимать шаббат нельзя. Баунти пойдет, да? Баунти да. Баунти people don't know, uh, sweet, uh, turn. Don't squeeze. They put bounty garbage. Они не, никогда не этого не делают. Без линии можно. Не выжимаешь. Без линии. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's clear. Okay, number four. <coughs> Akilo Vachavo, number four. Akilo, number four. The day decree regarding our shaving, where there is no space between the rows. Yeah, there's right. In addition, the Kobanatan wrote that even in a unpaved. Did they decree regarding our paving, where there is no space between the rows? The answer. Furthermore, with our paving, where there is no space between the rows, they did not decree. Yeah. So if there's no pavings between the rows. No. No, didn't no Same. paving. No paving. Yeah. George, time. No. Well, there's no space between the space. Rows. Yeah, no space between the rows. Right. Nowadays we don't have spaces. So it's even better. Space like between. Back in the day, like they used the to tiles, put a tile rock over here. We don't. Even yeah. those tiles we have, it's a cement. There is no dirt, um, soil. Yeah, there is no soil, ground over. Grout, grout. It's not grout is like cement. Yeah, grout is like cement. Yeah. Right. It's not something that sip it's a, and you, you know you're going to move it from place to place. It stays. It's it's well, what if, firm. What if, let's say you're sweeping, and at that particular area, the grout is sipping and yeah. you're moving something. Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. Because, because even if you will move it, you're not evening out. The idea is <laughs> you have an uneven ground, and whenever you're going to sweep the garbage. By the way, you're going to even the ground. In tile there, you're not going to even anything. Yes, that's not a problem, exactly. Uh, I didn't want Bechor to miss. Tomorrow, but next time. Yeah. Okay, number five. Last, last one. Number five. Do we decree in a paved courtyard if it is not covered because of other courtyards? Even in a paved courtyard, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Abu Rah. It's not covered, means to say there is no roof over. It's not like a house, like a back, back, backyard, front yard, whatever, courtyard. How do you say it's not covered? It's not roof? Not covered like what? The paved. Not covered with the roof? Done. Huh? Yeah. 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 It's not a. If it is not, if it does not have a roof. Yeah, even if the, the area does not have a roof. If that area does not have a roof, that area does not have a roof, okay? Because of other courtyard. Let, let's, a lest. That's the idea here. Lest the person does it. Lest could be also if, however. Lest. No, that's as same word as if. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Unless a person does it in other courtyards. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Because we discussed them too. Not like a house. Okay. So answer number five. Read. Even in a paved courtyard, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Arubach was lenient considering it. Orbach, no? Orbach, yeah, no, okay. Orbach was lenient considering it as an extension of a paved house, even though it is not covered. Since the main decree was on the house, Mm. And since, since nowadays they did not decree on the house, it also even does if it's not, not covered with a roof or with roof, uh, with a. Okay, since the main decree was on the house, and since nowadays, and since nowadays, they did not decree on the house. The sages. They do not. Did not decree on the house. It, it also apply. does not apply to the courtyard. Huh? It's not covered. Right, so bottom line, any paved area, in indoors or outdoors, you're allowed to sweep. 
Bottom line, any any paved areas, tiled, paved, doesn't matter, indoors or outdoors, you're allowed to sweep, period. And the cracks were not the creek. Right. Period. Got it? Very good. We got left on number six. Now we're going to go to our Shalom Bite session.